Hey, good morning, Chris. Um, this is a demo for you for both of your sabers and your blades. So I've got your uh, I've got your Roman Props MK1 here. This is, has the Rudy Cando chamber um, installed with Profi. I mean, they both have Profi. Um, we'll go over this one second. All right, and then um, I've also got your um, this is your Graflex replica. So this has the uh, blade holder from KR Sabers in it. Um, also install the Profi. We'll go over this one first, but then I also have your two blades here, right? Your two NeoPixel blades. So one one would be just a normal blade, and then I've got your recess blade right here for your MK1. So we'll fire each of these up in each of the sabers so that you can see that they work fine. On to the Graflex first. How you want to get to the chassis is you just want to flip up this flip up this lever or flip it down rather. I kind of put my finger on the card so it doesn't slip out because when you do loosen that, uh, the card gets a little loose. So I just kind of hold that there, take the handle, twist it, bring it out. And then I'll lock this back down as we go over it. Um, but you can see this is your chassis here. You've got uh, easy access to your micro USB and your SD card from right here, right? I just use a 90 degree data cable. Um, it is just a press fit down into the shelf though. So if you need to get to your board for anything, you can just pop it up if you take this clamp out. But um, I tried to design the chassis in such a manner that you will never have to do that. You can access everything from right here. Uh, you do have removable battery. So, um, you know, the negative side of your battery goes up inside the hilt there. Uh, 28 millimeter smuggles out post elite speaker and it's fully enclosed. So one thing you'll need to do with this handle, um, you'll want to take your cobalt ring off and maybe drill a few holes underneath it and then put that back on. That will vastly improve your sound. Because as of right now, you really don't have any sound venting holes, so this sounds very muffled when the handle is on, okay? Um, the second thing, this KR Sabres blade holder, it's a two-piece, right? Uh, first, it's the black anodized piece that's here and that gets locked in. And then normally, uh, there is a secondary, secondary aluminum piece that the chassis is hooked onto. Uh, that is really meant to be held on with a glass eye because if I took this off, that that aluminum piece has a hole right there for the glass eye to go in because the glass eye has a has a lot longer lip. Uh, you can see on this red button, there's hardly any threading there, um, right? So when I thread this on, it just barely holds that in. What I did was I went through and I glued down the. Uh, that bare aluminum piece to the anodized piece so that it wouldn't wobble on you. Um, but, but really that it was designed for a glass eye. Okay. Or if you could find a button that has longer threading, but I don't know that there is one out there. I think they all look like this. Um, but right now it's, it's super sturdy. Um, this is a two button setup. So your top switch here is your activation. And then, um, I made your slide tab here, your auxiliary switch. Okay, and I did a lot of modifications to this slide tab in order to get it nice and loose um, because it was super tight when it came. All right, so we'll throw a battery in this guy. Got him! I got him! Um, you did send me, there's two SD cards, one for each saber that had all the sound fonts that you wanted. So I took those sound fonts, I made you a config for each of these. You'll find a copy of the config file that I used on each of the SD cards. Okay, but if we were to come over here, you know, and hit power. Nice smooth swing. Auxiliary over here. Now this isn't on a spring. So when you engage it, you're going to want to disengage it. If that makes sense, right? But I made it very easy to move with your finger. There's no resistance. I'm just sliding right over it. If we held it down and hit the saber, you get blade lock up. Until you let go of it. Just like that, right? And then I did give you, I gave you twist off. Um, I will give you an example of how the saber sounds with the handle on and why it's a good idea to go through and just drill a few holes. It, it, it doesn't need to be pretty because it'll be underneath your card and it's not something you'll ever see, but it's super helpful, right? So kind of muffled. You can still hear it fine, but just be aware of that, okay? 
And then one other thing I would do uh, for a blade retention, because I didn't want to drill anything. I'm just using what you sent me. Um, you've got this replica uh, flathead screw. Uh, what I would do is I'd get another one of these that's a, that's a little bit longer. Uh, this barely barely gets into the inside of the blade socket. Not really enough for a blade retention, but if you got one that you know was like maybe two millimeters longer, you could actually use this guy for a blade retention. Um, this is what holds the black anodized piece in place. But yeah, get you one that's a little bit longer and you won't have any problems with blade retention. But for the sake of this demo, um, I'm just gonna throw this in and we're not gonna use a blade retention because it's pretty snug, all right? I'll put that all the way in there, lock it down, come over here and hit power. And this is the first blade. This is the normal NeoPixel blade that I made for you. So if I could put it in the camera and kind of spin it around, um, everything's lighting up exactly like it should, right? Got your blaster bolt deflex, blade lock up. You can see it kind of like right here. It'll move up and down the blade, you know, just, just according to how you move the saber. And then when we back off, it does that, right? I'll go to another sound font. I suggest you try it again, Luke. This time, let go your conscious self and act on instinct. So, uh, I do have color change mode on here. I'm not going to go through all your fonts because I think you had like between 15 to 19 on each saber. Um, just really showing you that these work. But if you want to change color, uh, you want to hold down aux and hit the power. You'll hear that noise, all right? And then you can literally just twist the saber so you find anything you like. So if we wanted this green by any chance, you know, I don't know why you would, but say you did, you want that color, we'll just hit power. You hear that noise. And now when we turn this back on, we have a green blade. Just like that, right? Um, all these have soundtracks. So to play your soundtrack, it's a long press on the power when the saber is off. This is the remote training. Um, then it's, a, it's another long press to turn it off. Just like that, right? So we'll go ahead and we'll take the blade out of this guy. Um, and we'll take the battery out of this. We'll, again, we'll flip that clamp, take the handle off, come back over here and from the positive side by the speaker. If you can't pull it out with your finger, just get you a tool like the back of a pair of tweezers or something, and you can pop it right out. Um, I do tend to make these battery compartments very tight so that it holds the battery nice and tight, especially on this one, like on the Graflexes, because um, I don't make the chassis the same diameter as the handle. You can see there's a, there's space there, so I want to make sure that battery gets held nice and tight. Okay. Um, also, you can glue down your card if you wish. Uh, that is just something I didn't want to do, just in case that's some that's something that you didn't want, right? But if you don't want to hold it every time with your thumb, like I'm doing right now, every time you open the clamp, you can put a little bit of E6000 on the back side of this card, and it will hold very nicely. All right, so that, that's basically your Graflex, and that's your normal NeoPixel blade. Um, moving on to your MK1. All right, this is also installed with a Profi. Uh, it has a 28 millimeter Smuggler's Outpost speaker. Your sound venting is actually in these two holes in this slit right here. It's a two button setup. So uh, the front tactile is your activation and the back is your auxiliary. Now, another thing you'll wanna watch out for Normally, when I get these kits, they come with two greeblies that, that get screwed in right here. Yours, yours didn't have that, or I think you just kept them. Um, and because of that, every time I open up this, uh, this, uh, this clamp area so that I can reveal the pando chamber, this tends to move a little bit. So I have to try to hold it steady, uh, which in turn will rock my switch mechanism just a hair, right? So you want to make sure if you have these greeblies and you want to screw them in, you're going to have to shave a few threads off of them before you put them in. Uh, that's just how that works there. Okay. I, I would leave about <clears throat> three or four, maybe five threads on them. Test it. 
if it doesn't go off, if it if you screw it in and obviously if you got some space try to cut another threading off and try it again but it's going to take a little bit of of testing there but those two greeblies help hold this this middle clamp section in place so that's a lot easier to, uh, to reveal the pando chamber but anyway for now we'll just hold it with our hand um, but if you want to get to the board you just have to unscrew the pommel you do not have to unscrew the booster all right so we'll unscrew the pommel this one does have a static battery in it uh, just the nature of it now when you unscrew that <clears throat> and you look over here you turn this light back on uh, you've got access to everything so you've got a 1.3 millimeter recharge port you've got a kill switch and then you can see your profi right there with access to your micro usb and your sd card it's all nice and packaged right there very easy to maintain or or access rather okay um we'll go ahead and we'll flip it on one flip of the kill switch is all you need we'll throw the uh pommel back on I'll turn this off and come over here and hit power so your leds are firing up like they should auxiliary back here you can twist this off as well and now what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and flip this clamp again to loosen up this midsection so that we could slide this grenade section up um, and we'll talk about this a little bit now uh, this piece that you sent this stock piece for your chamber um, it's super tight okay um, it might be something that you want to take off in the future um, i've got it to where it does this this grenade section will slide up and down over it but it is super snug so you just want to watch out for that um, on your crystal it just timed out um, i've got these on a timer so they don't go on forever if you don't turn on the saber um, single crystal it's a it's a real quartz crystal it's double terminated so it's pointed on both sides <clears throat> excuse me and there is a neopixel accent on the top and the bottom so the top accent will always match your blade because I run that in line with the blade. Uh, your bottom accent, it can be programmed independently and, and in fact it is right now. So on your config, you'll see every font that you have has two blade styles. The first one being your main blade and the second one being the bottom crystal on your crystal chamber. So if I were to turn this back on, and it's a little hard to do with the, with the Pando chamber exposed, I know that's super bright, but if I twisted this off, you can see it. Hopefully you can see I've got that kind of pulsing. Right, and you can see at the very end of that pulse how it's lit up over here because this is the bottom of, of the chamber until we turn it on. Right, now if I wanted to change color on this, I could just do the same thing we did on the Graflex. You hear that sound, and again, you can just twist the saber. You're not going to see any light up here because we've got this exposed, but twist it any way you want. And when you find something you like, just hit power. Just like that, right? I had to take the bubble strip out to do this with the Pando chamber exposed. Um, everything is meant to be kind of locked in when this grenade section is closed because the switch mechanism rests on this lip right here okay if that makes sense to you so i just wanted to show you uh, the crystal chamber although on camera it is showing super bright um, but everything in there is working as it should we'll come over here and close this back down well before we do that i'll show you what i'm like what i did up here you don't ever have to take it apart but if you wanted to um, you could unscrew it at the top of the pando chamber um, i've got that seven pin a pixel connector right there and then I've got a blade side PCB in here so everything in here is wireless uh, there's no dangle no dangling wires okay and then we'll just put that back on make sure it's tight open this up and bring this back down lock it in close that clamp just like that so now when the clamp is closed right 
everything again working just like it should now we'll test your recess blade i'm not going to use your blade retention uh, but you have one of course right here and that brings that reminds me of another thing this is your blade plug um, i would take some felt or something and put it on the inside uh, so that when you put this in your saber these neopixel pins don't touch any metal if you accidentally turn this on and those pins are touching metal um, it's going to be a bad day so just a piece of felt electrical tape something in there to insulate this okay um, got your recess blade right here as you can see and this is meant to just fit snugly right in just like that and you, and you can lock it down i'm not going to do it for the sake of this demo we'll turn it on get it in camera and kind of turn it around for you kind of spinning it showing that everything is lighting up very nicely we'll cycle through some colors just like that if we want to bring it back to like a dark blue for opie that dark blue the blade lock up again right here and twist off just like that I'm gonna take this out so yeah um, and then on this particular guy obviously static battery so I'll just come over here and I'll show you that the kill switch is doing what it's supposed to do. Turn it on until we come over here and flip the switch and it kills everything just like it should. All right. Um, so, yeah, that is basically your MK1 and your recess blade. And um, we covered everything at this point. So if you got any questions, uh, let me know. And I'm going to get these packaged up and hopefully out in the mail to you today. All right. Thanks, man.